Good morning, teachers and students, family and friends. Today is April 29th, 2020, and our reading today is from the Acts of the Apostles. Now the whole group of those who believed were of one heart and soul, and no one claimed private ownership of any possessions, but everything they owned was held in common. With great power, the apostles gave their testimony to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great grace was upon them all. There was not a needy person among them, for as many as owned lands or houses sold them and brought the proceeds of what was sold. They laid it at the apostles' feet, and it was distributed to each as any had need. There was a Levite, a native of Cyprus, Joseph, to whom the apostles gave the name Barnabas, which means son of encouragement. He sold a field that belonged to him, then brought the money and laid it at the apostles' feet. The word of the Lord. Let us join together with our morning offering. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. O Jesus of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day for all the intentions of your sacred heart in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world in reparation for my sins, for the intentions of all my relatives and friends, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father, amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. And let us turn to the flag for our Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all, born and unborn. We have no birthdays today, but we do have our faith word of the week, which is grace, which we receive as a gift from God. Um, today is our fitness challenge. Um, with the rain, it might need to be an indoor fitness challenge, but that's okay. You could still do it in your homes. And then at 12.15, we have a workout and talk with uh, Anthony from Hustle & Strength. So we should have a wonderful Wednesday.